Tuck. Daybreak's Mark Istook sat down with the first family of Fort Worth football. It's time to meet your newest horn frog. There's great excitement about this man and the staff leading our program. So without further ado, Sunny Dykes. Come on up, Sunny. November 30th, 2021, you're announced as new head coach at TCU. How's the year been? It's been a hectic year and a lot of changes, but uh, it's been a blast. It's funny how much has transpired in that amount of time, and yet it doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. How many interviews have you guys done together? I yeah, think I think so. this is our first, maybe way back when, but uh, certainly first one in a long time, probably a decade at least. So what's the story of how you two met? I was at Texas Tech and really wanted to be a sideline reporter. I was out getting an interview, I think, at a practice, and the guy who was the SID at the time came over and said, you're never going to believe this, but Sunny Dykes asked for your number. And that was it. Yeah. And we yeah. talked every day since. We're, I mean, we have very similar interests and backgrounds. I think that's the, the thing that's unique about our, our situation is her grandfather was a coach, her dad was a coach, her brother's a coach. You know, she understands this business and, and the time demands. And How many football-related dates were there over the years? A lot. It still happens. Yeah, I would say pretty much every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that we would we could count the ones that weren't football-related. Okay. <laughs> yeah. More so than we could count yeah. the ones that are. I remember an interview with you before the season kicked off and it talked about how you can go to Dutch's here near campus and grab something to eat without anybody yeah, recognizing yeah, you. Yeah. That's no longer the case. Yeah, it's changed a little bit. Yeah, and I think it's, it takes a little getting used to. My dad used to tell me all the time, you know, if you want to be a football coach, you have to deal with all of it. You don't get to pick and choose the things you want to do and the things you don't want to do. It's part of, part of the job and, uh, you know, we'll just deal with it. Well, just dealing with it means also taking the, you know, 13 and two seasons and the one and 11 seasons. We grew so much because of the one and 11 season that we have learned to not panic and stay steady on what we believe in. And I think I'm so grateful that we went through that because I feel like we're better because of it. Yeah, you know? yeah I completely agree. I mean, you don't appreciate things as much if, if everything's easy. You know, we did appreciate the season more and we did we certainly more, will more as we look back. Well, now that you've had a full week to look back on this season, what stands out to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it was pretty magical, really. I mean, I think for us to, uh, to get on the kind of run that we did, win 12 straight games, I mean, that's a hard thing to do. What would you change about the preparation against Georgia, about the way that game went, if you could go back in time? You have to do the same things that made you successful up to this point in that game. And I think probably, you know, we tried to do too much. I think our guys um, probably wanted to win so bad that they did a little bit more. Should have done a better job probably addressing that late into the game. And, and uh, you know, next time we get there, I will. If you could think of one word to describe this past year, what would it be? Tremendous. Family is so happy. We're so lucky. We're so happy in our home and at TCU and in Fort Worth. And this season and these players, I just, my heart is so full. I would say exhilarating probably. You know, what a ride. I mean, these guys were just, it was just such, so much fun to be around these players and they're just remarkable people and they have incredibly bright futures. And, you know, I think we're just getting started. There is a lot more to this interview tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Mark asks the couple what they learned from each other over this past season.